Hey, what's going on you guys? Bring your friends here. Uh, today I wanted to make a video uh, talking about Bunker Mesmer, especially after seeing the, uh, the ESL on Monday. There's a lot of things that I felt that were way, and even through playing it, like obviously I feel a little obligated to make this video just because of the simple fact that, uh, especially on the NA scene, I can't really speak for EU, that I was the one that pretty much brought Bunker Mesmer into the light and kind of made it popular. I mean, I was the first one that essentially started playing it, and then word kind of spread of how powerful it got. But there's a lot of things that are making the class very overpowered, and I wanted to go through a list of things that I felt were necessary to uh, balance out Bunker Mesmer to where it's at a uh, reasonable level. And so I have a list of crap that I want to uh, talk about, and I'm just going to go down the list and see what you guys think. Give me your comments and suggestions after everything is done. But I will say this. When it comes to balancing out Chronomancer, the one thing that has to be looked at before anything else is simply the Mesmer's access to Alacrity. Alacrity is pretty much the main thing that's holding Chronomancer on such a high scale when it comes to Bunker Mesmer or DPS Mesmer or anything of the sort because we have such an overabundance of alacrity that it makes everything just way too easy. So most of these changes and suggestions are going to be based around reducing alacrity. Uh, a few of them are not, even though I feel they should be uh, looked at and considered. But that being said, just uh, just bear with me and I'll try and explain it the best I can. The first one uh, is not even in Chronomancer, but it's in the Chaos Tree and it's Chaotic Dampening. As of right now, without any uh, boon duration, you have 5 seconds of protection, and I think that's way too much. My suggested change would be uh, reducing the duration of protection from 5 seconds to either 2 seconds or 2.5 seconds, and the reason because, especially when you're running Chronomancer, you have a overabundance of a access to Ethereal Fields. Every single well is in a thorough field, like all of them. Well of Precog, Well of Calamity, Well of Recall, Well of Action, and Gravity Well, not to mention, uh, well, well of Eternity not, is not, but every single well, actually Gravity Well isn't either, I'm going crazy, but you have four wells, all of a thorough fields, not to mention you have Chaos Storm, because if you're running Bunker, then you're definitely running Staff, you'd be a fool to do it without Staff, so the change for that is just two seconds of protection. I mean, you could even argue that you could put a cast time on chaotic dampening, or not a cast time, but uh, a cooldown. But I wouldn't suggest suggest that. I think just simply reducing the amount of prot uptime by either half or a little bit below half, which is below half is two seconds, and then half is two and a half seconds, would be a fair change, especially since. It's really dirty with Illusionary Inspiration because you have a lot of boon share capability. Not to mention that Illusionary Inspiration is affected by Alacrity, which is why Alacrity is one of my main suggestions for getting the nerf. And I'll go over that as I go farther down the list. So yeah, Chaotic Dampening, 5 seconds. My suggested change, either 2 seconds of prod or 2.5 seconds of prod. 5 is just way too much. Uh, now going to Chronomancer, all's well, with, all's well that ends well reduces the duration of alacrity from 2 seconds to 1 second. So basically you're cutting this in half when it comes to the amount of alacrity you get added on to each well. I feel this is a needed change and it literally just needs to happen. The amount of alacrity needs to be toned down on Mesmer and that is a good start. Well of Recall is another one that I want to go over. Getting 7 seconds of alacrity with, like obviously without it, it's only 5, but still 5 seconds on one well is absolutely insane. It's, it's overblown. It probably needs to be changed from 5 seconds to 2 seconds. Base. Uh, you other than that, the chill duration needs to probably increase from 1 second to 3 seconds and increase the damage on it. I'm not sure what uh, 
what should change on the damage as far as numbers wise but in order to compensate for the alacrity nerf on well of recall definitely increase the chill duration and increase the base damage would probably be a uh, a fair trade for taking out the alacrity so which means if all of this were to go through and well of recall would be nerfed from five seconds of alacrity to two seconds it would actually be three seconds of alacrity if you were to take the new all's well that ends well. So going from five to three, that's definitely not bad. Six, six seconds of alacrity if you were to continue to split and throw a well of recall in the ground. Six compared to 12, or six actually, as of right now, six seconds compared to 14 is a pretty big nerf, but definitely needed when it comes in terms of uh, alacrity. Improved alacrity. Uh, decrease the duration from 50 to 25 percent. It's pretty self-explanatory, just uh, reducing the amount of overall alacrity that Mesmers have access to. And the only other thing I found completely cheesy on Bunker Mesmer, DPS Mesmer, whatever Mesmer, is not necessarily the amount of alacrity, but just a certain exploit on a certain map. As you all know, you can cap buffs while under the effects of blur. While I don't find Well of Precog to be the overall problem in Mesmers, as I said, the problem is alacrity. However, I don't feel that you should be able to cap a buff while under the effects of blur. So my suggestion change to Well of Precognition is you cannot capture any buff or any orb. So any buff in Temple of the Silent Storm or any orb on Spirit Watch while under the effects of blur. Other than that, I feel Well of Precog is a pretty balanced skill. As I said, the problem is simply alacrity. Uh, the only other thing I have to talk about is more or less a rune set, which is Runes of Durability. I find this rune set to be completely overpowered, and there's a reason why it's called the new Signet of Vampirism. Because it's it's got a low cooldown, it gives you protection and regen for 3 seconds when struck, which means it's essentially passive, and resistance for 1 second. So, one of the reasons why it's so powerful for Mesmer is it has regen. And, as you all know, gain protection when you gain regeneration, which is 15 seconds. So, what Runes of Durability is doing is it's proccing generation every 20 seconds, and you have Illusionary Memory up every 15 seconds. So it's really helping you get a stronger uptime on protection, which isn't really a good idea, I guess. I mean, not to mention that you have a 15% boon duration and 125 vitality. The, the rune set is simply too strong. Like, the only other rune sets that actually give you three buffs, to my knowledge, is one of them is Rune of the Pack, which you get 25% chance when struck to gain one stack of Might, Fury, and Swiftness, which is arguably a lot less, or a lot less important than gaining protection and regen and resistance for one second on a 20 second cooldown. And then Rune of Sanctuary, I guess, could be thrown in there as well because, I mean, Retal, not really a big deal, but Stability, when you're below 20%. But it pales in comparison when compared to Rune, or uh, Superior Rune of Durability. It's simply too strong. Either, my suggestion for this is either increase the cooldown to like 40 seconds and keep the boon duration. I don't even understand why they really even put Vitality in there. That just seems to be way too overblown either yeah so my suggestion keep increase the cooldown of runes of durability to for 40 seconds and then you could even get rid of the 125 vitality and keep the boon duration and i would be okay with that that seems like a uh, a fair trade for runes of durability i mean it even with my suggestion it might not even be enough to be quite honest but it's a good start but yeah i mean there are a lot of other things that are uh broken in the game that I won't discuss in this video because obviously balance is going to be coming hopefully soon enough and yeah it's been pretty crazy
But hopefully this is a good start on getting a grasp on what needs to be done about Bunker Mesmer because regardless of what spec you build and how you you get it, you're basically always going to have to... E what is this guy saying? I can't concentrate. But basically whatever build you play, it's always going to revolve around Alacrity and that's what really needs to be toned down. So... But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me know your comments and everything like that and in the forums and on YouTube, whatever the case may be. Hopefully you found this informative. Hopefully you don't hate me too much for uh, spreading Bunker Mesmer throughout the game. And hopefully the devs listen to what I have to say because I honestly feel that this is the, the best course of action as to nerfing Bunker Mesmer without destroying it completely. Because let's be honest... Uh, Diversity is always good when having several options when it comes to each class, and I just don't want to see it just, like, fade into nothing. So, yep, I'm Countless, bringing friends. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Adios.